Hello friends, so today we are going to discuss an interesting problem asked in Google interview and this will help you to understand how to pass a string given some constraints. I will tell you two examples but the question statement first like read down this question statement. The question name is unique email addresses and it's an easy problem. If you understand the logic it's very easy. So the problem statement states that uh, like in, in any email you are given the email is of this type okay alice at the rate leadcode.com okay but there can be two things the first thing is a dot and a like the plus sign if you add period between some character to the local name so the any like email address has two part the first part and the at the rate part and the, like the last part so alice is the local name and lead code is the domain name you all know that okay but now if you put a dot in the local name then also actually it doesn't actually really cares so like if you put a dot lice then this is equivalent to a lice alice is equivalent to like a dot lice is like they both are equivalent so like there is no difference between them as you can see this and this are both straightforward so like both of these email addresses if you send email to this or this they will go to the same address okay but this does not apply to domain name domain names are different if you put like lead dot code and lead code they are different but alice and a dot list are same okay now if you put a plus sign in the local name then all the characters after the low plus sign are ignored that's also thing they are given as you can see in this if it is m dot y plus name so before this uh, at the rate of sign and like plus sign every character is, is disappeared so this is actually equivalent to this my at the rate of email.com i hope you understand so you are actually given a number of emails and then you have to output how many different emails are present over there okay so that's the first thing now because domain name the second part after the at the rate of part that should be different like if there is a lead dot code it is different from lead code but for the first part we have to see so what you can see here is first try to like separate this in two different problems the domain name problem and the like the local name problem so first like parse out the local name as well as the domain name if the different domain names will be different then we will like try to smaller like smallify the local name according to the constraints if there are dot ignore it if there's a plus sign like ignore all the plus characters after the plus sign and then we will again add the domain and the local name together and then that's the final string and then we can put all these different strings in a set because set will consider only one type of string and then we will find out in the end the size of the set and that's the whole question but now how we can find out the domain name as well as the the local name differently that's the first thing how to pass out the string now there's one thing that, that you can see here is the add the rate of sign it actually is the like the middle point before the like domain name and the local name. so that's the main thing you can use so what you can do here is take the input of that string and start popping out the last character as you go from like right to left start popping out the last character till you reach the at the rate of sign and till you don't read the at the rate of sign keep popping out the last character and then in the end you will like separate out the domain name the rest of the is the local name part so i'll tell you how let's see this example uh, let's copy it out okay okay then first like take an empty string s let's assume then keep on popping out the last character and put this and push it in this string okay let's assume that c o just put it in this for formation till that you will not reach at the rate and then in the end you will be having this string stored in this now again pop out the last character at the rate because you don't need that then the rest of the string is the local lane part so you can take out the local lane and what you'll do you will iterate over from left to right in the local name only if you encountered a dot leave it if you encountered a space just break out of that uh, for loop and that's the because you don't have to look forward to the other part and then in the end join the local name as well as the domain name 
that's the whole trick a uh, few days back one of my friends asked me to parse out a string in which you are given some day a month and then an year now that's the like let's assume that year is always four digit okay like it is always like 217 or 1997 okay now month can be like 12 or like 09 or 7 and so on and day can also be uh, like there is no zero that's the whole thing like it can be 7 it can be 13 it can be 21 now how will you pass out the strings and then the main thing is this this forward slash will help you to pass out just move from left to right sorry right to left and keep on extracting out the last character till you reach the first forward slash and that's the year then again keep on extracting out the last from like from right to left and then you will get the month and then the last of the remaining string is just a month day so that's how you can pass out the strings you have to find out some like similarity or how to find out some pattern to such that you can easily extract out the the material which you want okay so that's the whole thing in this question let's move on to the code part now for this question i'll zoom it out a little bit okay so the question statement in this question statement you are actually given okay it's loading yeah so you are given the n email size of the n emails make a set to store all the different strings now for all the strings iterate over them then this is string back to find out actually the domain name so what you will do you will do a while loop and then you will keep on extracting out the last character like with how you can get the last character of any string email i because you on the i string dot back will tell you the last character and then what you will do you will add this character to the back string so i have iterated over the string and added that string to the forward of the back string and then pop out the last character till you reach the other iterative sign then after reaching the other iterative sign you will block up like break out of this while loop but still the other iterative sign is there in the string so again pop out the last character then you have the back string ready in this string the domain name and then you have to find out the start string which is actually the local name so now for that you will iterate over from right like left to right and then whenever you find a plus sign you just break out if you find a dot sign you will continue but if you find like any other sign it's a character so you will keep on adding it to the start string and in the end the final string is actually start plus this adderative character and the back so this will actually get you the final string and then you will insert this final string in the set and if there are two same type of strings they will not insert the only one type of string will insert in the string or in the set sorry and then in the end you just return out the size of the set i hope you understand the logic as well as the code of this problem if you still have any doubts please mention down thank you for watching this video i'll see you in the next one keep coding bye